Okay, so hello and welcome back. In this video, we talk about estimating to the nearest hundreds by rounding off. So, so far we have been talking about rounding numbers and estimation, but then essentially that was all the way to essentially, so this is the ones place value, this is the tens place value, this is the hundreds, and this is the thousands place value. So we came all the way up to the, t to the, to the, essentially rounding off to the to the to the to the nearest tens basically now we will talk about round rounding to the nearest hundreds which is essentially the same uh, of course procedure right now if you think about for example a number like for example 410 right 410 is essentially a number which essentially has a ones place value a 10 and a and a hundreds place value right so then essentially the number um it essentially if you were to round this number to the nearest tens place value you would um to the nearest tens place value, of course, the the number is um, um, is already rounded to the tens place value, right? Because the digit after the tens place value is a zero, right? So since it's a zero, then of course the the number is already rounded to the tens place value. Whereas if you had for example, a 412, then you could round it to a 410, and that would be essentially rounding to the nearest tens, essentially, right? So, so essentially what, what that means is that essentially a 412, for example, is a number, for example, between 410 and 420, and since 412 is closer to 410, then of course you would round to 410, right? But now our, essentially the number that, that we have is a 410 essentially to begin with, which means that there is no point in, round, is in rounding essentially to the tens place value, right? So it is, it's already rounded. Then essentially you can <coughs> You can round the number to the to the hundreds place value, which is this place value over here. And so, as far as the the hundreds place value is concerned, then basically the number is is going to be essentially some number between 400, 400 and five hundred. Meaning you have four hundred, you have four hundred ten, you have four hundred. 20, 430, and so on and so forth, all the way up to 500. And 410 is essentially this number over here, right? And so, um, um, basically then, um, because essentially 410 is much closer to 400, you would round it to essentially to a 400. And, of course, uh, you could also take a look at essentially the digit over here, which is a one, which is less than uh, essentially less than five, which means that essentially then the then essentially you would round down. Essentially, you could you could round up, you could round down. When you round down, essentially what happens is that the the four remains a four. It's not. It's not incremented to a five, but then all the digits, essentially all of these two digits will be replaced by zeros, right? And uh, one more thing which is also important here is the fact that, for example, let's say that you have a number, for example, 412, right? And you want to, you want to round this number to the nearest hundreds place value right of course it's easy to 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 round to the hundreds place value meaning if you take a look at for example if you write 112 and you want to round essentially to this place value so then you would take a look at the digit right next to the four and since it's a one which is less than five then you would round down which means that then basically the four remains a four 
and then these two digits are replaced by zeros now but but then there is there is one more thing that you might actually need some time and that is the fact that for example let's say that we have a 412 and as far when we round the number to essentially to a to the hundreds place value we say that essentially a hundred for example 112 or essentially or 110 is some number between 400 and for example and 500 meaning 400 410 420 excuse me 420 430 and so on and so forth all the way up to 500 right so you want to know and then you have this number 412 and you want to know what is these two numbers that 412 is 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 between when it comes to the to the hundreds place value not not when it comes to for example to the tens place value right so then when when that's the case then it's it it might be easier sometimes to instead of looking at 112 you would round the number to the tens place value which is essentially and the number then becomes a 410 and now it's not it, it might not be confusing anymore meaning that that now essentially you know that for example for 410 is just simply as far as the hundreds place value is concerned is some number between 400 and 500 right so that's that's basically one thing that that's about that's one example now uh, or essentially for example a, a a number like for example 889 right you want to know you want to round it to the to the hundreds place value now of course rounding to the hundreds place value meaning to this place value I can simply take a look at this digit which is right to the next of right to the right right next to the to the hundreds place value to the right of the essentially to the right of the hundreds place value and then I can simply say that for example that that essentially since this digit is greater than or equal to five then of course i'm going to round up which means that the eight becomes a nine and then these two digits are replaced by zero by zeros which means that essentially 889 rounded to the hundreds place value becomes a 900 which is that that you can do of course but then suppose that you want to know what are those two numbers that 889 is between as far as the hundreds place value is concerned right and in order to answer that question so again i repeat the question what are those numbers that 889 is between as far as the hundreds place value is concerned then you would round the number to the tens place value first okay you would round the number to the tens place value which means that for example 889 rounded to the tens place value right, becomes 890 right and I, and now i can i can simply tell that basically that 890 is some number between 800 and 900 and of course 890 is some number over here and then there is 880 and then there is 870 and so on and so forth I many 800 810 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 900 so 890 is some number over here which is very close to 900 which means that then 8 for example 889 if you round it to the to the hundreds place value it becomes basically a and a essentially a 900 if you round it to the tens place value it becomes an it becomes essentially at a a an 890 right so that's essentially that okay now there is something interesting about numbers that are basically that are um, for example if you consider numbers from 0 to 100 uh, excuse me numbers numbers from 1 to 100 so you go from 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 9, then 10, 
then 11 12 13 14 all the way up to 49 right then you have the number 50 and then you have essentially then you have um, then you go from 51 52 53 all the way up to 99 and then the 100 right so these numbers essentially um, what's interesting about them is that suppose that you want to round essentially all of these numbers to the hundreds place value right and even 99 has all the all the place values all the way up to the tens place value meaning the hundreds place value is just a zero which means that it does not actually exist in this number right so but then of course if you want to round it to 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 essentially to hundreds place value um then essentially the way that you do that is that um, is that basically the you see that essentially the numbers 1 to 49 if you imagine that there is the number for example 0 over here which actually does not have any i mean for the sake of this discussion we can we can assume that essentially a 0 does not have any place values meaning there is there is essentially there is there is only the ones place value in the number zero. There is only the ones place value and and even and even so there is no digit over here which means that which means that essentially this place value is not being supported by anything, right? Meaning that if the, if there was a one over here and there was a zero, then the ones place value would be a zero which means that the ones place value actually does exist and it is being supported by this one which is in the tens place value so then so then essentially the number 10 does have the ones place value it does have the tens place value but then the the, the the number zero itself essentially there is only a zero but then the the tens place value is missing meaning that you could imagine that again it's a zero right or you could imagine that it's zero, 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 and so essentially infinitely many zeros. So for the sake of this discussion, we can say that, for example, the number zero actually does not have any place values, right? But then we can imagine that the number zero is over here, right? And you see all of these numbers over here that go from 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 49 are, are closer to 0 than to 100, right? But then the numbers that go from 51 to 99, these are closer to 100 than to the 0, which means that they would be rounded to 100, right? And all of these numbers that go from 1 to 49, they would be rounded to a 0. Number 50, 50 is equidistant from 0 and 100, right? It's equidistant from 0 and 100, which means that then, based on the same convention that we said that essentially, for example, a, a, a so you can imagine that there is 10 and then 11 and then 12 and so all the way up to 15 and then all the way up to 20 right so so then essentially for example you have 16 17 and so on and so forth all of these numbers are closer to 10 so they are rounded to 10 all of these numbers are closer to 20 so they are rounded to 20 15 is equidistant from 10 and 20 and so based on the convention that we talked about it's rounded to essentially to the 20 right so based on the same convention we can or essentially we would or we will round 50 to 100 right now if you don't want to now when it comes to such numbers for example the number one Two, three has only essentially the ones place value so the question of the hundreds place value does not even arise but in spite of that if you want to round for example the number nine to the hundreds place value so that's the one that's the ten that's the hundreds place value if you want to round it to the hundreds place value you can take a look at the 
tens place value, which is this place value over here, which is a zero, right? Which means that then, of course, you would round down. Rounding down mean, mean, means that essentially the zero remains a zero, which means that the number nine rounded to the hundreds place value becomes a zero. And so the same thing essentially happens to all of these numbers all the way up to 49. Meaning that 49, for example, has the ones tens place value, but the hundreds place value is a zero, right? Rounding to the hundreds place value, take a look at this place value over here, which is a four, which is less than five. You would round down, meaning the zero remains a zero. So then again, all the way up to 49, the numbers essentially rounded to the hundreds place value essentially remain a zero, right? But then if you were to round, for example, the number 50, the number 50 to the hundreds place value, which is essentially this place value over here, you would take a look at the digit right to the right hand side of the hundreds place value. It's a five, which is greater than or equal to five. And then there is a zero over here. So then you would round up, rounding up, meaning that the one becomes a, a essentially the zero becomes a one. And then you would replace these two digits by zero. So the number essentially becomes a hundred. And then the same happens for all of these numbers all the way up to 99, right? So these are, these are essentially interesting things about numbers or essentially about rounding numbers. Now we can take a look at um, some um, examples. So for example, let's say that you have the, you have essentially the number, for example, 841. 841 rounding to the hundreds place value, which is this place value over here. There is a four over here, less than five, which means that the number essentially becomes a, an 800, right? Or, for example, 2,546 rounding to the hundreds place value. There is a 4 over here, so it's rounded. You would round down, so the number essentially becomes a 2,500 or 2,500. Or essentially 168 rounding to the hundreds place value. There is a 6 over here, which is greater than 5. So that means that essentially you would... Uh, round up which means that it becomes a 200 right or for example the number 9537 rounding to the hundreds place value there's a there is essentially a theory over here which is less than five so you would round down which means that the number becomes 9500 or 9500 286 rounding to the hundreds place value so there is, a, there is an 8 over here, which is greater than 5. You would round up. It becomes essentially a 300. Or, for example, 149, rounding to the hundreds place value. It becomes essentially a 100, because essentially 4 is less than 5, so you would round down. Or, for example, a 49,730 rounding to the hundreds place value. So uh, basically there is a three over here, which is less than five, you would round down and then the number becomes 49,700. 5,750 rounding to the hundreds place value. There is a five over here, which is greater than or equal to five. You would round up which means that the number becomes a 5,800 or 5,800. 9,870, rounding to the hundreds place value. Right? There is a seven over here, which is greater than or equal to five. You would round up, so the number becomes a 9,900. 9,900, so essentially the, the eight becomes a nine, and then the number becomes a 9,900. So these are essentially, this is all about rounding to the hundreds place value. In the next video, we will round numbers to the, to the thousands place value. Thank you.